all right a beautiful morning it's friday thank god it's friday i'm so excited to be here you have to pardon my volume because you know i'm a bit under the weather the cold is everywhere but you know we're trying to be strong and we're gonna beat that cold welcome to women's corner here we're talking about something interesting and that will be about our mental health and of course our wellness when it comes to our mental health and because of that i brought two amazing girls okay one is a zoom guest the other is an in-house guest and i'm sure by the time i um uh, introduce the guests you'll be like oh yes these are the perfect persons to talk about mental health awareness and do not forget you can watch our programs live on uh, galaxy television from our social media pages you can watch on facebook and on twitter just type in galaxy television of course you will have us right there live and also you can download galaxy television app from google play store and apple play store just download and watch all of our live programs live so you don't miss anyone anyway do not forget um this corner runs from 11 a.m to 12 noon do not forget we're so out sorry we're starting up by this time anyways let's go for the short break and when we come back i'll introduce my guest and we'll start talking about wellness the mental health awareness and of course our health when it comes to being a woman from all aspects even from the fact that you're a mother to having children you know to doing some certain things in life and still be able to be uh, very okay so let's go for the short break and when i come back i'll be introducing my guest don't go nowhere all right welcome back it's good to be here with connor so yes i'm gonna start introducing my in-house guest first and this is Nsikon blessing gabriel she is a tv personality i'm sure when you see the face you'll be like oh yes sure she has to be a tv personality and she's a superintendent of nigerian correctional uh, service Lake State. Uh, she's a writer and author. She was actually busy yesterday and we're still chatting up on like, oh wow, you look good in your uniform. Well, you know, she looks different again. I've seen her on just a corporate where it's good to have you, Blessing. Thank you so much for coming. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. Hope it wasn't so much stress getting to no, the studio. Thank you very much for joining. And of course, we have Moji Sola Mayowa of Lugbeni. She is the founder of More Mental Reform Foundation. The CEO of Mofe Fresh Fit and the Creative Hubs. Of course, and she's also a mental health advocate. Mo, can we have more on the screen? I'm going to call you Mo. Even <laughs> do I know you're Mayowa? Can we have Mayowa on the screen so that she can say hello to us? Hi, Mayowa. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. morning. Thank you for joining. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. I'm just going to go in straight. I'm going to start from you, Mayowa. First, what do you think uh, women should understand when it comes to mental health and at the same time being well? There's a difference when you have a mental health um, um, issues and when you are mentally okay. So what is the difference so that we women can actually know? Because I believe there are some certain things, even as a woman, that when you are doing, you understand, and... Um, Another another woman will probably look at a woman and say, "Is this one okay? Why is she behaving like this? Why is she talking like this? Why is she acting like this?" But because you already know for a fact that she's not probably acting normal as she should be, but which could be any circumstance that could have caused that. So I just want to know what is mental health and wellness when it comes to the woman. What do you expect a woman should be? Okay. Um. Thank you once again for having. Mental health is an intriguing of a woman's life, and um, it is also a basic right that every woman should have. So it's crucial for every woman to take care of their mental health, because as women, we go through lots of um, things that exposes us to, and makes us to be vulnerable to um, mental health issues. So it's a very, very crucial thing for every woman to understand what mental health is and how to cope and how to really take care of themselves when it comes to mental health. And you know, as women, we are exposed to so many of the contacts, horrible situations, um, psychological effects of you know, some um, marital issues, relationship issues, and all that. So it can affect a woman's mental health. 
And when you see a woman is under stress, it's easy to identify. You understand? But one thing I believe is that even sometimes a woman might be going through mental health issues and she herself does not realize it, but she just finds out that she's behaving in a way. Sometimes she's so triggered to anger issues that a little thing can just trigger her off. You understand? Sleep disorders and a whole lot of things like that. So when a woman notices this kind of a thing, she should um, make sure that she gives attention to her mental health. Probably reaching out to a mental health consultant, going for counseling, and um, giving room for open communication. Uh, it's important for a woman to identify when it's happening to her. And sometimes, even other people that, uh, that was notice that there's something wrong with this, she has noticed that not that that's People around her, like families, and friends, may notice that yes, you don't behave the way you used to be. At that point, the woman should take heed and attend to her mental health. Very hmm. important. Okay, thank you very much for that one. I like like all the notices you brought out, and that's very true. Sometimes I, I even take myself for example that sometimes I'm so very stressed that I notice there's a mood switch. I get easily irritated and all of that. And you know, you just feel like you want to talk to maybe your doctor or something, and they will tell you just on that stress. Go and rest, madam. So yes, it's good that you always try to take care of yourself. And when you notice that you're being overreactive to some things or some minor issues that um, is now dragging a lot of people out of you or away from you, it's better you call yourself to order or speak to someone. So I'm going to ask a uh, blessing. What are those things that a woman should watch out for? Now, once she start exhibiting these characters, she should just know that, Auntie, mental health is... <laughs> Your mental health is at stake. What are those things women, you can mention as much as possible because we need to enlighten them and educate them. So what are those things that once you see that you are acting this way, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're speaking this way, your mental health is at stake, do something. Um, first of all, is it starts with your emotions. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? If you have, if your mental health is, you know, slowing down or is bad, you yourself, you feel unwell because mental health covers our emotions, our psyche, and our social well-being. So first, how are you feeling? If you feel good, it will reflect on how you behave to others. But if you feel bad, it will tell. It moves from, first of all, how, what are you thinking, your psychology, what's coming to your head. Then what you're thinking now leads to your feeling. You start feeling either you're happy or you're bad or you're sad and the next thing you act it out. Mm -hmm. So when you see that you're you're being rude, mm -hmm. you're imagine okay, let's say public transport and the conductor is acting somehow you're responding the same way. When you're not a, an illiterate, <laughs> you're not a doubt. <laughs> When you know you are you are a babe, a chick, a you know, lady, <laughs> you are not supposed to behave that way. Then check it. Mm. Something is, and like she rightly said, your anger. If you are getting angry, necessarily like hitting your child where you are not supposed to. I mean, what did the child do? What offense? Mm. Warrant, warranted, you know, a slap or a hit. That thing. Those are one of those are the things we should look out for. Basically, is how we react. Is our reaction to people mm. because we always tend, want to take it out on our spouses, our children, our maid, our help, our driver, our subordinate staff, mm. and general public. So if, if a woman starts reacting that way and she notices that, okay, maybe now some persons are watching are like, oh, so was that why I was shouting that way? I've actually seen some women <clears throat> all dressed up in the public transport, just like you said. And you see the conductor, obviously, he's he has taken one or two such a, and he's already high on his own. And his battery was, and you're also throwing back to him, you're sending him home, he's sending you home, you know, understand. Now, when it comes to that situation, and women have found themselves in that, that circle, what is the first thing, or the first few things that they need to do to make sure that they get themselves back to normal? 
is identified cause, the root cause, identified, except if we are humans mm -hmm. and we have problems. What leads to mental health is the problem at hand. Mm -hmm. So go back to your dream board, identify the problem, look for solution. Mm. Is there any free place in Lagos State, any free whatever, where women are allowed to, or even male, are allowed to come and see someone or talk to someone to help them identify? Because that could be a lot of work, some women don't even have that. Um, is there anything like that in Lagos State at all that you know of? No, no, no. Of. But I know you can get help in church. We have counselors. Okay. I don't know my organization. We have counselors. Okay. And you can assess them for free. And I know mm. the church too. You can identify a good counselor or a gifted counselor. There are some people that are trained professionals. Yeah. And there are some people that are gifted. Mm. You know, from God, that when they speak to your life, you receive peace, peace. Mm. and you receive direction on how mm. to get your solution right. to the problem solved. All right, I like that. But could we quickly mention the name of your organization just for women that are out there that probably want to partake and want to see you or see other persons to talk with? Except I'm introducing them to my colleagues. Okay, your colleagues, okay. Okay, I work with Nigerian Correctional Service mm -hmm. and we have trained psychologists that okay. in correctional facilities. Okay. And I know they'll be willing to, to help. help. Is to it talk free? To. Of course, it's free. Okay, so you hear that. So contact me, I contact Blessing. There's a free service for those that want to talk to a psychologist, well trained. They will talk to you if you feel you're mentally stressed and you just feel that you're not just yourself. So I'm going to ask you, uh, Mayawa, Mayawa, how do women support women when it comes to mental health? Because sometimes a woman can have a mental health issues. But you find that it is mostly the women that is also talking down on that same woman. You see a woman is going through stress, maybe the husband is not acting well towards her and is affecting the way she trains her kids. Rather than a woman coming to that woman and telling her, oh, I have somebody that could help you. Okay, how about you take this money? Don't disturb him. Take care of yourself. We are the one that we sit behind and we say, look at her. Look at what she's doing. That's how her husband does it. That's how she does that. So what do you think a woman should do that will help and support a woman when it comes to that mental health to get better? Thank you. Yeah. Shoes, themselves in other women's shoes, and um, when you are privileged, don't think somebody going through stuff is uh, probably you are more privileged than the person. But circumstances of mm. life can expose us to different things at different times, and so women mm. should begin to um, put themselves in other women's shoes before stigmatizing them, before judging another woman. First and foremost. Yeah. Try to identify a story, why she's doing what she's doing, and what led to what she's doing. Because mm -hmm. most times, like you have rightly said, women are the ones that actually stigmatize other In fact, that the woman, yeah. like probably, let's put an example as a single mother, somebody that is a single mother that probably had issues with her marriage and helping to raise her children and all that thing. Instead of other women mm -hmm. come to her aid to support her. You understand me, they begin to stigmatize her like maybe she's actually not well behaved, she's the one that caused the marital problem and all that. You, know, you try to listen to people, try to hear them out, try to be empathetic, you understand. Try as a woman to put yourself in another woman's shoes. That okay, what yes. if I am the one that talk to what this woman is going to? What would mm -hmm. have been my own responses to life? You know? And I think um, we mm -hmm. should create more friends. Then we can reach out to other women going through um, issues of mental health. When we have support groups for women, where people can easily share their experience without being stigmatized, without any fear of judgment, it will help other women to be able to come out openly and share their experiences and get help. I think why most people keep quiet about what they're going through as women is because of stigmatization. You don't know who we hear your story and say and judge you and condemn you. And instead of sharing your story, coming out for help, you rather keep this to yourself. And things get worse by doing that. So we should encourage women to support women, create more women support groups where women can openly discuss their issues on mental health and get 
Okay, so I want to ask a, a lot of people. Okay, thank you. I, I want to ask this now. Still, you, Mayowa, I've heard a lot of stories of we've mentioned stress and so many things, emotions and all of that. But is it true that fin <laughs> is it true that finances is one of the major <laughs> one of the major cause of women's mental health? As I'm saying, it, uh, blessing is actually nodding. She's agreeing to that. Do you think finances is one of the major causes of women's mental health breakdown now? Can I? Can you come again? I can. Hear okay. You. I said, I said we have mentioned a whole lot of things. What causes women to break down mentally? Now I'm not asking that. Basically, a lot of people believe that finances due to the economy i know yeah. but finances is one of the major reasons women have mental breakdown like you say woman and it's very well okay but once the financial stress comes in she breaks down is that true and if that is true how do you think women can actually how like say this overcome it because we know the economy is already as bad as it is but we have to help ourselves out so what do you say about that Okay, thank you very much for that very valid point you have raised. The financial issue is one of the reasons why women can actually get depressed, have mental health issues, because it's actually very important in anybody's life. You know? So, um, I I want to advise that women should begin to get empowered. You know, uh, I see a lot of women that believe that um, um, probably their marriage, they rely on their husband for everything, and they don't really think about their own empowerment and um, how they can also get financially stable. You understand me? Now, I, I always I also believe that before a woman we even think of getting married or you know getting into family responsibility, she should be empowered. Get super skills that can give you that can increase your earning capacity. You understand? Because as a woman, being financially stable and independence is very very important to your mental health you need something you can get it for yourself you want to achieve a dream because i believe that even as women when we are not fulfilled like we dreams we have visions we have aspirations and we can't fulfill them it makes us feel down we, we feel lower than who we are you know that's so a woman should uh, that she pursues her vision she pursues her dream and she gets herself empowered with so that she can also be forced to discuss and feel good about herself. It's very, very important. And I see a lot of women taking it as it's important. They just go about their life and believe everything is on demand. They are married. That mm -hmm. Women should not really be national. You know, even some people will tell you that uh, uh, why women uh, should end in the kitchen. What's she, what's she running about for finances? What's she, it's, it's not a big deal for a woman, you understand? Once you get married to a woman, he has money, he can take care of your needs and all that. No, what's about your personal fulfillment as a woman? So a woman should mm. ensure she's equipped with the right skills that can increase her any capacity. I think women should not be lazy. Women, are, we are already endowed so much, you understand? And we are, mm. sometimes we are so much we can multitask. Even though as a mother, as a career woman, as um, you know, wherever you are as a woman, you can still merge everything together and still make your money. So every woman is a challenge to every that financial stability is very important. As it is important for men, it's equally important for every woman. For them for women. Because there are many Okay, thank you very women. much. You want to if you have money, you, you, you can't achieve it and be so down and it can affect yeah. your mental well -being. That's my view. True. Thank you very much for that one. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, Blessing this one. I have one general question for the both of you. For now, let me ask Blessing this one. Now, we've tackled the financial part. A woman has to be stable. That has to work out first. So I'm going to ask, do, does relationship really affect women's mental health? Like, it cost them the healthiness of their mental you know their mental self is relationship part of it yes very in, well. in what way please if you're in a toxic marriage or even a relationship let's say you're dating and it's toxic it will affect your mental health mm. but if you're in a happy home it will also affect you positively okay and if you're in a, a relationship let's say a husband and wife a family woman this especially now 
this is a time for you to to show love to communicate with your children the reality of time you know i sat my daughter down and told her this thing we used to buy for 250 now <laughs> it's 2000 do you understand the math and she will be just i said do you understand i said things are very expensive that means don't expect to eat two pieces of meat mm. it has to be one it has to be one so communication too goes a long way mm. this is not the time for you to vent your anger on your spouse because everybody's angry <laughs> I love that part. Everybody's angry. Everybody. So mm. it's called for everyone to be aware mm -hmm. that this time, whether you never had mental uh, breakdown, this time you have it. You might not really tell yourself the truth, but it's there mm -hmm. because of the way people react. So if you have to pull yourself together. Mm -hmm. And relationship, anything can happen. People going through that financially, in relationship, they are still they lost their loved one. That you know, losing their loved one, they are having health issue to battle with. Mm. So this is the time for us to show love. And in relationship too, we have to communicate. There must be a communication. You must build a cycle of people that can give support, can help you, not people that will talk you down. Mm. You need that communication in a relationship, whether in marriage, whether you're dating, you know, even in a um, social relationships we have to build good communication team people that will tell you what you want to hear yeah. people that will calm you down and mm. assure you that it will be well so i love i love what you said people that will tell you what you want to hear um and what you want to hear it has to be the truth right the truth and the message of hope of hope why are saying the truth I say okay the truth. i like that so how about if a family member of mine is someone that likes to give hope but before the hope, they will talk you down. <laughs> what do you do? I don't think that person has hope. <laughs> Someone that has <laughs> Someone that hopeful will not talk you down. Right. Someone that is hopeful will definitely know. He's in the positive, you know, side. He knows that everything will work out, work out yeah. one day. Mm. Nothing is permanent. One day. Suffering. Hardship will end. Will end. Mm, I love that. And that is the hope every woman Including needs right now. pain of a, a, a loss of a loved one. One day, no matter how painful you're feeling, mm. no matter how you've been traumatized. Okay, recently I had a surgery. I told you I had yeah. a surgery. And I was traumatized for the first time. Mm. I was really traumatized. When I was discharged, getting home, I keep saying what I was saying, recalling how people were dying and all that. I was traumatized. But today it has ended. Mm -hmm. So I know nothing lasts forever. Yeah. So somebody that has hope and have had the experience of mental breakdown would definitely live to another. Give, yes, that's very true. Because life that. happens. Life happens. And if it has not served you your breakfast, it will serve you lunch or dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not only breakfast alone. Anyways, I want to ask them the general question for both of you. We are discussing this in our office just this morning before coming on the show. And the question is, I'm going to ask the both of you, both the Zoom and the in-house guests, is, Mochi, you can hear Mochi to listen to this question. So the question is, a woman is being given five uh, 5,000 naira that day just for feeding, and the feeding includes her, the husband, and the two kids, 5,000 naira per day. And the woman comes online to vent the anger, saying that she wants to leave the man alone because she cannot cope anymore. Then in another part, it's more like we're now suggesting, how about instead of giving you 5,000 per day, which is like 150,000 in a month, is it, which one is better? Giving the woman 7,000 or 100,000 for a month, and you know, or giving the woman 5,000 per day, which is more better? So I'm gonna ask you as a woman and a mother, what advice will you give to that woman? And also I want your reaction to that question of, how am I supposed to cope with 5,000 naira per day? I'll start with blessing before Mojisola. <laughs> <laughs> In, let's be realistic. Times are very hard. Um, 5,000 naira per day is not really bad enough. I don't know how you eat. I'm from Cross River States. And when it comes to meals, we may ensure we eat the best. We don't believe in acquiring wealth. You know, you can have a house or two and all that according to how God blesses you. But when it comes to our food, mm. that's where the core money goes into. 
But the reality now is even, okay, a colleague of mine came to my house, she's a friend, and she was like, she opened my freezer and she was like, she was scared. <laughs> <laughs> because they are used to come and eating and taking good food home, mm. when I mean good food home. But this day she came and she opened the freezer, was empty, and she was scared. <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> and she was like, what is happening? I said, no, 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 it's not that bad. <laughs> then I want to repair okay. my things <laughs> so I'm not stuck in it. <laughs> it's not that bad. And I now gave her food from the pot. So what I'm saying is, the truth is that I don't know what works for her, whether yeah. 150 per month or 5,000 per day. day. Mm. That is at times 20, 30 days. 30 days yeah. If it works um, per month, then she should go ahead and go to the market. Please locate it cheapest food stuff market mm -hmm. in Lagos. And buy. Only where you are. And buy. Stock the house. Okay. And then the other support, the other one you have is to buy the perishable things, mm -hmm. perishable goods like meats, fish, um, pe fresh pepper and all those things to augment. Coming to online to vent your anger. <laughs> Do you want your husband to go and steal? That is why, like my co guest said, empower yourself. Yes. Support. Support. The days he does not give, have a pocket, mm. have somewhere to bring something out. Yeah. I distribute more when I'm when I'm when I have money, I distribute it in different pots, different handbags. Different so handbags. So when I'm kind of running out of cash, I, I begin to search all my all bags, the bags to all get the, bags. the money from it. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't tell what works for you, 5,000 daily of 150 per month, but I will go with 150 per, per month, month because it will help me this month, I will get a bag of rice. Yeah. Next month, I will get half a bag of beans mm. and then you will be with like the that. balance. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Mochisola, it's up to you. What your response to that and what advice will you give to the woman i think um she has said it well. actually i also prefer um to buy things in book because um but in a situation where demand cannot do that i think the woman needs to make some necessary adjustments as a woman we are planners you know that's why we are women so she should something that has been to suit her for that you know, instead of coming online and embarrassing the man and so I think she's also embarrassing us. She may have been through that um, situation. With the present Nigeria, we will have having a share of like um, my two guests have spoken have spoken well. So she should just find out how she can manage the five thousand naira per day and um, if it's not enough for her she should have to eat. That's why we said earlier, women now need to work and do. The men alone cannot do everything in this present Nigeria. The woman needs to support. She really wants the heart. She doesn't want the nagging or the heart to work and do. So coming to the internet to you know, embarrass her husband is out of lack of wisdom. You know, I was even. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually thinking you are going to put it in an aspect of uh, are you sure our mental health is okay? <laughs> because first, for you to even come online and say something like that, of course she's you must having, have been stressed breaking, somewhere in your head. She's stressed. Yes. You know, out of frustration, she doesn't know how to manage this situation. Okay, I hope she gets better. I hope she gets better because, like we said, the economy is bad. You know what we're discussing? In my opinion, was if we want to be honest, if she's not working and the husband doesn't want her to work and she's just a housewife, five thousand naira is not enough. I would rather the man gives her the bulk of the money at the end of the month. And what, let her... what if the man does not ends daily? Okay, the man ends daily. Ah, if we have to allow me to go and work, then I'm just looking at the scenario. If I wasn't working, you know, there are some men that don't want their wife to work. In fact, when you're going out, you will tell them, I'm going out. I don't know if there's still men like that, but of 
of course they have to learn like that i'm just saying so you've heard from women and they have kids so you have to manage with your husband stop saying you are leaving the economy is not smiling if you go out there you meet probably worse or even the same or even lesser than what you thought you were going to get outside and for the kids too you just need to talk to somebody that will help you you know help manage the situation and uh, you know get, get you something to do even right from your home there is what they call online shopping now so yes you can still make businesses from your home make deliveries from your home without even stepping outside anyways at this point i would like to let um, mojisola go Mojisola Mayawa Olubemi is the founder of Mo Mental Reform Foundation, CEO, Mofe Fresh Feet, Creative Hub, and Mental Health Advocate. Mojisola, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for your input. Can you wave us by? Let's, let's see you go. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we still have things to call blessing Gabriel. She'll be closing the show with me. So while we go for a short break, let's quickly go see Styles mistake that we have. And this mistake applies to both the bold and beautiful and the slim and slicky. Let's quickly go see this and we'll be right back to the studio to wrap up the show. Style mistakes don't make you look heavier. In order to look and feel your best, you have to know how to dress for your body. While women have many different bodies, these clothing choices would always be avoided if you want to appear slender. 1. Men's wear made for men. 2. Skinny jeans. Every girl deserves a pair of jeans that she can rely on. While skinny jeans look great in some girls, sadly, they will only accentuate large portions for others. If you have to struggle to get into your jeans, then chances are they are going to make you look larger. 3. Cropped or three-fourth pants. Avoid pants that end between the knee and ankle at all cost. They can look good on rare occasions, but much more often, these cropped pants will make the tie area of average weight will appear larger. 4. Trying to hide your body. Women who are insecure by how they look will often wear as much fabric as possible to cover up their bodies. Show off your shape. Even if you have a large waist, put a belt on it and show everyone your hourglass shape. 4. Wrong bra. So much of your look relies on what you're wearing underneath your clothes. A lot of women are wearing the wrong bra and that can really mess with how you look. Decide if your bra is stretched out. It might be time to go shopping for a new one. 6. Too tight. Tight pieces that hug your body can be showstoppers, but when they are too tight, they accentuate all the flaws and hog all the carbs the wrong way. It is better to get something a little too big and get a tailor down than to try to squeeze into something that is too small just because it stretches doesn't mean it should. 7. Baggy and baggy. If you want to wear an oversized sweater, wear leggings or skinny jeans. If you want to wear pajama style trousers, wear a tighter shirt or jacket. 8. Printed pants. Print add dimension and volume to the body. 9. Too many layers. If you want to wear a loose kimono, wear a tight tank underneath. If you want to wear a loose top, layer a fitted blazer. 10. Hiding under a shapeless jacket. If you're curvy and maybe a little subconscious of sheen off your body, hiding it under a shapeless jacket isn't helping. It's actually hurting you. Giving your body no shape makes you look like a rectangle. If you want to hide your butt, waist, or arms, try a belt trench coat. 11. The belt accentuates a waistline, creating a beautiful hourglass figure. 12. Jessie fabric. Jessie shows everything, and I mean everything. It's just not a flattering fabric unless you are a size zero model. Go for thicker fabrics, fitted pieces, and a flowy fabric like rayon for loser ones. 13. No neck. Turtle neck are the worst. Your neck is one of the skinniest parts of the body. When you show it off, it creates a natural flow to your body halves. When you cover it up, 
there is no middle ground to break up your head and your body, make it appear larger than it is. 14. T-length skirt and chunky shoes. All right, welcome back. It's Tewin's Corner because today is Friday and it's Thank It Is Friday. Let's go for Spotlight Nuggets. This time around, it's creatives coming together, content creators coming together to have a networking event. And of course, we had the likes of Emma Abaga, we had uh, Lolo, we had some Biju Face, we had a lot of people that were present, you know, to grace this uh, event just to network. And Galaxy was exclusively there. So yes, we're bringing you the full gist. Just a little bit like five minutes just for you to watch and learn if you're a creative director this is for you and the government this is for you so you could do something for the creative industry to grow and be better so let's go watch uh, the ceo networking event we'll be right back the cso's and creatives networking event was lost with b brands as celebrities creatives trooped into the mom mitchell beach restaurant or near private beach legacy this event was organized back to Loye, an artist signed by Emma Abaga to bring together a diverse community of creatives and stakeholders in the social space to address poverty eradication. Speaking to the convener, Ihoto Gregory, she spoke on the reason for creating the event and how much creatives are to go all out for passion. Ihoto stated that creatives should seek help by speaking. Focused on things around no hunger, around poverty and around mental health. We will do more across the country that focuses on all that different topics, but that's what we decided to do today. And you know, we had amazing partners in the room, we had amazing nonprofits, and we had amazing creatives. Find help, find a support group, find someone to talk to, because whatever you're going through, someone has been through that as well. And if they've been through it, then they can handhold you to get through. Don't die in silence and don't keep quiet. Speak out. Find a, find a circle, a platform that will let you talk and get talking. She also said that the CSO and Creatives Hangout have a future and team cannot wait to unveil what is in store for creatives. Also speaking, Emaya Bago, who is known for his remarkable contribution to African music space, affirmed the future of the event, saying that during time with Loye, he opened up on the challenges, spotlight in focusing on uh, making poverty eradication and depression amongst creatives. For all the creatives watching this, especially I know that a lot of creatives come to Galaxy TV. Galaxy TV, people don't know, was one of the first stations that would even take my videos. And so I have a lot of love and respect for Galaxy, C uh, Galaxy TV. The goal of task is to help creatives connect to opportunities. We know it's very difficult out there for most creatives to find opportunities to improve their skills, to get funded, to earn money, you know, and we're trying to build platforms that solve that problem. One of the major bridges that we build is with CSOs, people that are working hard to build Nigeria, to build Africa. Deja, who is vital much, also spoke on what it is like to hold on to passion and excel through it. Events like this really do help make you realize you're not alone and I think that's the most important part because mental health dealing with um, issues in mental health is a very lonely place or it feels like a lonely place until you actually open your mouth <laughs> and then realize that you're not by yourself so someone said something that resonated with me which is he said I've, I've lived many stages of life and I feel like my career has gone through so many different stages and I'm currently in the third wave that's how I explain it of my career and I'm hoping that everything I've learned in the first and second wave so far is going to help and amplify what it is that we're trying to do now. Um, I can't lie, the idea of mental health throughout the journey uh, is actually the most important part of everything and a lot of us started this not being okay. I feel like sometimes you go into music from, uh, you know, music is a very emotional job and it's also a very jealous job so it's one of those things where so many creatives want to do a hundred thousand things and I'm one of them but you have to focus on one at a time and I think that is kind of where I'm at and not feel like you have to prove anything to anyone but yourself you know and the God that you are serving. Deja believes that the Nigerian government is capable of aiding creatives and also organizing programs to lecture them on overcoming depression and also speaking up at all times. Her, a media personality and also a team of tech spoke to Galaxy Television all the importance of creating forums as this so creators can network, engage each other and share the craft and also speak up on issues bothering them.
The event had great singers performing, with Lawyer being the headline artist and also revealing his coming singles in a few weeks. Back, keep coming. We are checking the time. I was already saying a uh, blessing. Okay, in just two seconds, what do you want to tell women out there when it comes to mental health? Just two seconds. Um, women, love yourself. You are a gift to the nation. You are a mother. You're more than a girl child, irrespective of the age. Understand that mental breakdown happens either if you have health challenge, marriage, or even a lot of disorders. But I want you to seek for help, communicate, because what this breakdown does is that it wants you to lock up yourself and be silenced. Don't refuse to be shut off. Okay, seek for help, communicate. God bless you. Thank you very much. Refuse to be silenced. That's the last word I'm going to tell everyone. Thank you so much, Blessing. Gabriel and Sika for coming. It's an amazing oh. one. We have a lot of gist because I know you, we are. Yeah, you know, I don't understand, but let's leave that one alone. Because of our time, I'm going to wrap up here on Monday. We'll continue Women's Corner. It's going to be an exciting episode. Don't miss that. If you're just joining us, go to our Facebook and Twitter. You can still watch us live right there. My name is Rose Blossom. Until Monday, have a fabulous weekend. Bye for now.